Hi, I'm Heather. I'm a zoologist by training and an enthusiastic advocate for this diverse, rugged and beautiful plateau landscape you can see all around us at about a thousand metres elevation. Midsummer sunrise and the melting valley mists still make me a willing visitor guide, even after nearly 40 years of living nearby. We welcome those who are keen to share our alternative solar and gravity powered down to earth lifestyle. At this hottest time of year, we prefer to garden from first light before breakfast in the comfortable cool of the often misty early morning. And then again, at the end of the day, when the long shadows bring welcome relief. Being one and a half hours from the nearest town, we have built our own wooden house from timber off the land and big caged gardens and orchard which keeps our rather enthusiastic and abundant local wildlife at bay and feeds us all on fresh organic fruits, nuts, olives, bamboo and veggies. As you can see, plums and strawberries are still in season now at midsummer, and jam making is on our list of things to do. During the heat of the day, we get down to exploring along the sculpted rock pools of our local Doyles River. And our wonderful old growth rainforest creeks and a whole range of other local waterfalls, including the famously tall Ellenborough Falls, which drops 200 metres in a single unbroken fall and is the second tallest waterfall in Australia, and some say in the Southern Hemisphere. Hi, um, hi I'm uh, David Bray, and we're um, standing underneath the house here. We bought this property here back in 1980, uh, and it was that time it was all forest and we cleared a bit where we are here now and built the house in 1984. Um, when we first built the house we we couldn't put the uh, power on from the grid because we're too far away uh, so we've been off grid ever since 1984 and what we use uh, are solar panels on the roof which provide power comes down to these batteries over here uh, they store the power and we run the power through an inverter on the wall up there. We've got a 240 volt system, same as the average urban house, um, but we're very limited on power. So to give an idea, we use roughly 5 kilowatt hours per day, whereas the average urban house uses about 20 to 30 kilowatt hours. Um, so we need to be rather careful with what we're doing. But uh, we've got most of the, um, the ordinary things. We've, we've got lights, TV, computer, and most of the ordinary appliances. And for our, um, uh, for our water supply, we collect water from the roof uh, into tanks and we just use that uh, directly as it is without treatment. And it works pretty well. Yeah. So this is our, our main water tank. Um, we collect the water from the roof of the shed, which is quite a large area, it's about 200 square metres, and this provides us with enough drinking water to, to do us all year round. Um, we've also got a dam up the hill, uh, which provides water for Heather to use in the garden. And so basically we've got pretty much the same sort of stuff that people have in town, but um, not quite the same quantities, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm Faye, this is Sam. We got married uh, about a year and a half ago um, and I moved up here. We organise a couple of events in the area, including the market that's on today. Um, we've run trivia nights and hosted some pretty awesome parties. Um, some of it's to make money for the, for the community, some of it's for our own survival. 
um, yeah, it's a beautiful place. And some place. for the forest. And some for the forest. We've done. Yeah. We've been involved in other people's projects too. Uh, it's a pretty lively community. There seems to be seems to be hard to not do something. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my friend Nina, Hi. who came here when she was two, I did, and never left. No. It also makes these beautiful creations, which we've seen. All eco-friendly. Yep. Yep. Kind to the earth and kind, and a small kind farm to your kids. With what else? Horses. Horses, oh, chickens, cow, and cows. Chickens. She's raised yep. her own meat. We have. And has a beautiful Since caged garden. Since we become vegetarian, garden. though, so we're we're more focused on our organic garden. Yep. Yep. Our helpers seem to enjoy this busy flow of action and we are joyfully amazed by the solid contribution everyone has made to our overall success. I hope this Helper Mastered video will encourage you to come and experience our sustainably wild and wonderful place for yourselves. And thank you, Louis. We look forward to seeing you again later in the year.